Hello everyone, I'm Patty Ann Brown and you are in the Strategy Room. All eyes are on Hollywood, Florida as GOP leaders gather for their annual spring meeting. It's usually a subdued affair, but this year the three-day gathering has been thrust into the media spotlight amid a heated Republican presidential race and the chance of a contested convention. On Wednesday, GOP candidates Ted Cruz and John Kasich lobbied party leaders personally in hopes the committee will consider changes to convention rules that would make it easier for candidates other than Donald Trump to compete for the GOP nomination. Today, the 56-member Rules Committee will meet to discuss the guidelines for this year's convention in Cleveland. So will they change the rules? Here with analysis are Talk Media News Bureau Chief and Fox News contributor Ellen Ratner and Republican strategist Chip Salzman. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Great to be with you. So Trump's campaign, uh, by the way, is sending former candidate Ben Carson today, as well as campaign operatives Paul Manafort and uh, Rick Wiley. Uh, but Chip, how significant is it that Senator Cruz and Governor Kasich appeared in person to make their pitch to the 200-odd uh, uh, GOP party leaders and chairmen? Well, it certainly helps. I mean, like you said, it's there to woo, and they want to see the candidate themselves. They want to see Donald Trump. But look, they've got their campaign surrogates there. Uh, Donald Trump's worried about some other states in front of him, which is probably not a bad move on his part. But at the end of the day, the Rules Committee that's meeting right now in Florida doesn't set the rules for the convention. Their guidelines, their suggestions, and the real fight will be the Rules Committee the week before the National Convention in Cleveland. Well, that's right. Uh, a GOP chairman, Reince Priebus, uh, says, by the way, that he is reluctant to change any rules, uh, citing a politically charged environment. Uh, Ellen, do you think they'll actually change anything at this meeting? Well, you know, I have no idea, but I defer to my counterpart here, who uh, is a Republican and knows the rules a lot better than I do. And the issue is, of course, can they change rules, and does it make a difference in terms of the Cleveland Convention? And as far as I hear, and you know, here I am, a Democrat, crazy person that I am, uh, that the rules in Cleveland, Ohio, my hometown, the week before, are the ones that really count. Yeah. Um, so, you know, as Chip said, even if they do adopt rule changes this week, uh, they will not be binding. It's the Rules Committee at the convention in July that has the final say. Uh, but Chip, if rules were changed uh, this week and if those did stick at the convention, uh, is it a concern that attempts to deny the front runner, Donald Trump, the nomination could backfire? It could, and I think that's why they're going to be very cautious what they do in Florida this week. And more importantly, most of the Rules Committee that will happen the week before are made up of delegates, and they'll be the vast majority of delegates from Donald Trump and Ted Cruz. And I can assure you they don't agree on much, but one of the things they agree on is to make sure that either Donald Trump or Ted Cruz is the nominee. So they're not going to be open to the suggestion of opening the floor up to many, many nominations. I'm sure they're going to want to make the rules where there's only two people that even can put their name in a nomination will be Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. Mm. Uh, you do have Kasich there hanging on, hoping that's not going to be the case. Uh, Trump has consistently slammed the system as rigged. Uh, Ellen, could that accusation hurt him with GOP officials and leaders? Well, of course it can hurt him because the GOP officials, uh, like Democratic officials, are party people. And party people don't like to be told that their system is rigged. I think that goes for any party. Yeah, and uh, Reince Priebus uh, is also saying, you know, look, they all knew the rules. These rules are not new. This wasn't something that was just sprung on them. Uh, and the way it works is that if you don't hit that 1237, uh, you're not assured the nomination. It does open up the convention. Um, but practically speaking, Chip, uh, what, what does happen to someone like Kasich? Uh, Paul Ryan has already said he's not in the mix. Uh, someone like Kasich is not eligible uh, under the current rules. So what happens to Kasich? Well, after, actually, the current rules are you have to have a majority of delegates from eight states. Kasich's not going to meet that bar. Right. Uh, at that point, you know, he can hold his, can, he can hold his delegates for uh, two rounds for most of them, and then his delegates can go anywhere he wants to. So he's got some leeway for the first two rounds if he wants to try to cut a deal to be somebody's running mate or something along those along that line, he could do that, but at the end of the day, his delegates will, will go to wherever they want to go after the second round. Yeah. But I just want to say something about John Kasich, because I am from the great state of Ohio, and as we say in Ohio, so goes Ohio, so goes the nation, and the convention is in Ohio. So he has undue influence, I think, in this particular convention. Mm. All right, we will have to see what happens. Ellen and Chip, thank you both so much for being thank here. You. Good. Thank you. And for complete coverage of the 2016 election, go to foxnews.com. I'm Patty Ann Brown. Thanks for watching.